welcome back, fellow eccentrics. I am the Neural, and this is the Blockcentric server. Today we're gonna continue working on our town village thing uh, with our new format, which is less videos and hopefully more and better content. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, well, I can't promise anything about the better content, but uh, I'll uh, I'll hopefully be able. To give you more at a time. Still working out some kinks, I'll admit. Still working out some kinks. I have to plan much farther ahead than I than what I was used to, uh, but it'll eventually work out. And oh my god, oh my god, frigging Enderman. Ugh, just. Ugh. Okay, today we are going to go ahead and build what I am intending to be a tavern. Yeah, any port town needs a tavern. Uh, and I was looking around at the terrain and I noticed I thought that this area extended a little bit more towards the sea. So this is gonna be a little tricky. I'm not sure how exactly we're gonna do this part, but that's probably going to be a road coming from that island. So where I think I'm going to place said tavern will be around here-ish. Yeah, because this is going to be a road going over yonder, connecting to that valley, uh, and we can have the tavern. Uh, it should be close to the main square, if you can call this a main square, but it is a very small town. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is measure out uh, how big I want this thing to be. I don't want, I don't want it to be uh, too big, but I do want at least, at the very least, two rooms. Yeah, at the very least. So, uh, for now, I will be making a huge amount of terraforming. Uh, well, uh, yeah, terraforming. That's basically it. Wow, what's this? Oh. Ew. How did you get here? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be making a huge amount of terraforming. And uh, I will meet you once I have a little bit of a blueprint done. I will be right back. Okay, and here's what I've done. Now, Considering the layout of this terrain, I think it would be wise if we uh, upped the, the floor by about one block, so raised it up to, let's say, uh, I'll just demonstrate with dirt, to up to this height, or maybe even this one. Uh, but bring the, the wood from here. Now, I was originally planning on... Uh, on actually making the building the exterior on this side uh, and just make it uh, just dig a little bit around it but that little bit turns out to be quite a lot and I think it would um, it would mess with the landscape just uh, I need to stop saying a little bit because that is annoying even me, uh, but uh, it, it would be uh, it would be quite a bit uh, uh, quite a bit is also a little bit a little bit annoying. All right, moving on. Uh, yeah, it, it would mess with the landscape just a, a, just a little bit too much. All right, okay, brain there a little bit a little bit better now. Okay, uh, <laughs> so what we're gonna do is actually tear these little buggers down and well at least this one and make the front slash side of the the inn or tavern uh, this side right here and it will connect to the future road on this side possibly probably kinda sorta uh, oh dear lord I am full I am full of crap and what I'm gonna do is actually make a slanted roof. Okay, what don't I need? Stone, go, and dirt. I have too much of you right now. So there. So we're gonna go with a slanted roof design, which is going to go from down here, 
up there and if it uh, and it will probably well actually no no we can go with a full roof here like this and then another cross roof which will which will be much m visually much more interesting going that way so you can see we have a little entrance here and then it curves so this will all though the walls will go where these logs are so this this part of stone will be covered up completely so we're gonna have one two three four five spaces uh, so it will uh, wait a sec ah yes so this will be free and this one will not so one two three four and this I gotta check my numbers again uh, but you get the drift so it'll go here and then backwards towards here and going up on the second floor I want to place a couple of bedrooms tiny as though they're pr they're likely to be I want bedrooms so there now all I have to do all I have to do is actually build the thing but I think I'm going to go with a skeleton design first and then bring you in for an update be right back okay I got the exterior done and I like it this roof was such a problem this was horrible 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 because I ended up I started playing around and I'm not used to, to actually be confined by land when I'm building roofs so oh I neglected this yeah this turned out this came out right here this is perfect for a, a little kind of back entrance uh, I was thinking that maybe well there's probably gonna be some sort of path here if there isn't one we'll just put on some gravel like uh, eh, this is a, a, a traveler's path of sorts <laughs> and it's not connected to any particular routes uh, but yeah yeah I really like it uh, this could lead down uh, maybe not this much but well yeah well, this much is fine directly to the rooms yeah directly to the rooms there could be a little um, yeah, there doesn't need to be a, a counter here just the rooms are fine I mean nobody w would go go into a room ah, I'll just sleep here I'm, I I don't have to pay <laughs> yeah but uh, but uh, there it is oh by the way one thing crap uh, one thing I've already started uploading to my my second channel, the the technical neural. Uh, it's in my uh, recommended channels list uh, down uh, in my channel page to the right. Yeah, that. Um, do check it out because I started a series on space engineers, which is a deep role play series. So. Uh, it's kind of like a, a little story, a little uh, the adventures uh, of a guy and his adventures. Yeah, the adventures of a guy and his adventures. Uh, I think it's turning out interesting. Uh, at first, uh, I'm still w working out some kinks in the storyline. Well, not not exactly kinks, but some dynamics and how to treat this how to approach this but all in all it is a, a really interesting experiment uh, I've never tried anything like this before and, and I was eager to, to try it uh, so yeah give it a shot and uh, let me know what you think okay now uh, we need to figure out the divisories for for this the actual rooms and I think I'm going to do that off camera because uh, it's going to involve a little bit of uh, what you call it thinking yeah uh, ah I thought I'd lost these uh, a little bit of thinking and uh, my goodness it is so dark yeah I, I've got the brightness settings down because I think everything looks cooler this way even on YouTube uh, okay uh, not sure if we're gonna be able to fit actual rooms here hmm I might have to, uh, well I promised myself at least two I'm gonna get working on it well gang yes I just called you gang 
I think I, I came up with some sort of a solution. So I still haven't uh, put in any of the details, but I did arrange a way for us to go up. And then, oh, I should have some doors on me. Of course, I never have anything on me. Uh, let's try some oak doors. Oak. Uh, spruce. That's what I said. Uh, huh. Now, let's put them out here. Uh, so that we can gain that b extra block right there. Because as you can see, the rooms... Where's my glass? Thank you. Hey. Uh, the rooms are very, very small. Very tiny. So every block counts very well. Uh, I just lined it uh, all out with, with uh, darker wood. Ah, crud. Uh, this is gonna have to be uh, here. This can be here, and let me see: 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 9, 10, mm, 14, 13, 12, 11, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Or I could just do this. Eh. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we come up to here. These are the three bedrooms. Don't tell anybody, but this actually digs into the, the side of the hill a bit. <laughs> uh, just for one block. Uh, I didn't cheat that much. And here we have our corridor. This is actually the ceiling. Yeah, I mean, it's this block right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to put this door, uh, which I do not have. I uh, should... I would like a dark oak door for for this. Uh, but, hmm, hold on, hold on, I, I have kind of an idea, let's grab this little guy, and put an extra one of these little guys right here, ah, th this is lighter wood, so lighter wood, no, not that, not that, that, there. Okay, and we put the door here, so that... What was I thinking? Oh my. Mm, this isn't exactly my favorite. Could we, could we actually get away with something like this? And this? I think we could. Yeah, just cover up that, uh, that entrance. Hmm. I think the, this is reasonable enough. Yeah. Oh, and I still gotta put that thing back. Uh, mm, yeah, there. Okay, but that is the the most of it done. Now all I have to do is add some details, some furniture, beds for the guest rooms or the, the patron rooms. Uh, these rooms, unfortunately can't have a... Oh, they can! Oh, this changes everything. At least this guy can. Can can his neighbor have a window? Mmm, this guy can't. Okay, so this will be the cheap room. <laughs> <laughs> and this little guy... Uh, huh. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's... Hmm. If I got it here... I could make something to walk out from. Nah, but that wouldn't make any sense, because people could just walk out of their rooms and directly onto the street. Or maybe it would make, make sense, but I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm going to keep it fairly simple here. Yeah, get away. Just like me. Like this, I said. Possibly. I'm gonna think about it. Well, I don't think I forgot anything, but, uh, well, eh, eh, there's always the chance. So I ended up going with this sort of decoration. Nothing, nothing, uh, that interesting. It's, uh, again, it's occupying space and following some patterns. Uh, there weren't too many opportunities to do this to carry on the theme that uh, Ranquest established there. Uh, 
uh, I couldn't really find a, a way that worked uh, where I could do it except maybe adding a, a couple of logs here but then there would be two that was too much wood uh, couldn't really do it here here I could do it yeah, I could carry on the theme from over there but then it wouldn't look right with this underneath and then the front just kind of looked a little naked uh, but yeah here it is the interior I I worked really hard on it uh, but well I tried really hard I didn't have to work really hard because this is a uh, as far as my creativity goes oh now that I now that I notice it uh, the ceiling is completely flat and that at least can give us an opportunity to break it up and actually try to give the viewer something interesting yeah look at that yeah look at that I hope I didn't break anything upstairs you can only sleep at night oh my god I hit a bed <laughs> okay uh, yeah, a little corner here, a little closet, except when you go up to it. <laughs> An automatic closet. Uh, there you go, a little storage room. Uh, and second floor. Uh, one table here to uh, for people who want a little more privacy. Uh, bedrooms, really small storage space up here. Uh, uh not not the best view in the world <laughs> uh yeah i i, I kind of like it i mean i could squeeze in quite a, a lot of stuff into this tiny space uh, the paintings really helped i'm not a big fan of using paintings for decoration but uh, there aren't really that many alternatives here at least none that i could think of this upstairs portion is uh, kind of bland uh, however this is just a corridor a passageway I I ended up putting the the heater up there stupidly enough because it makes it doesn't make that that much sense to to heat up the top floor uh, but there there you go this is the Nerlian tavern <laughs> little play on words with, with my uh, with with my nickname there, and uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, that is going to be it for this episode. And next episode, I'm I'm gonna try to uh, establish uh, bigger goals per episode because I uh, well I have uh, enough time to to do some stuff over the course of a week, so I'm still getting used to that. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's gonna be it for today, guys. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed the episode or a dislike if you didn't. And until next time, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.